Hola amigos, bienvenidos a el canal de Español con la señora Pérez. Today, we're going to be looking at los mandatos, the Spanish commands. Before we get started on commands, let's go over the moods. We have a total of three. The first is the indicative mood, which is the most common and it is used to relate to facts and objective statements. Next, we have the subjunctive mood, and it is used more commonly in Spanish than in English. It is used to express reactions and feelings, kind of like a subjective thought. And lastly, we have the imperative. The imperative mood is used to give a direct order or command. And this is what we're going to be looking at today. The imperative mood or los mandatos. There are four forms to be used when you're using the imperative or the imperativo. You use the pronouns tú, usted, nosotros, and ustedes. Please note that the nosotros form is used to give an order that involves oneself as well as others, though it often expresses a suggestion as its translation let's indicates. So let's take a quick look at the regular verbs in command form. Here we have the AR verbs, for example, the verb hablar. And we're going to use the four forms, tú, usted, nosotros, and ustedes. For the AR verbs, we have tú habla, no hables, usted hable. Nosotros or nosotras hablemos and ustedes hablen. Look at the highlighted endings for the AR regular verbs. Now let's look at the ER and IR verbs such as comer and vivir. Tú come. No comas. Usted coma. Nosotros o nosotras comamos. Ustedes coman. Please take note of the highlighted endings for the ER and IR regular verbs. Now you notice that in the tú, there was a no hables or no coma. Those are negative commands. The negative commands, or an order to not do something, place the negation no before the imperative. Moreover, negative imperatives are always formed using the corresponding forms of the present subjunctive, even for the tú form. Let's look at some examples. No mires. No hables. No coman. Both the no mires and no hables negative commands are found in the tú form. Now the no coman negative command is found in the ustedes form. Here's a quick cheat sheet on affirmative commands. First, you want to drop your ending AR and add A in your do form, E in your usted form, hemos in your nosotros or nosotras form, and N in your ustedes form. And here it is for your ER and IR verbs affirmative commands. Drop your ending AR and add E to your tu form, a to your usted form, amos to your nosotros and nosotras form, 
and an in your ustedes form. Now here's a cheat sheet for your negative commands, the ones that you do not want to do something. So for the AR verbs, you first want to add the word no, then you want to drop your AR ending and add ES in your tu form, E in your usted form, hemos in your nosotros or nosotras form, and en in your ustedes form. Now for those negative commands that are ending in ER and IR verbs, add no, drop your ending ER and IR, then add your endings a to your tu form, a to your usted form, amos to your nosotros or nosotras form, and an in your ustedes form. Practicamos. Here I have two examples for you that I would like for you to try. The first one says, don't eat junk food. And I have added two words that could be substituted for junk food. The first is porquería. The second is chatarra. The second example that we have is, you guys do exercise. Ejercicio is the word for exercise. Pause the video and let's see what you've got. All right, amigo, let's see how you did. Don't eat junk food. No comas porquería. Or, no comas comida chatarra. Let's check out the other example. You guys do exercise. Hagan ejercicio. So, how did you do? Bueno amigos, we have reached the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more videos. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. As always, gracias. Hasta la próxima.